If you're using Apple Notes like a basic notepad, you're leaving a lot of productivity on the table. Most creators don't have an idea problem. They have an organization and follow through problem. And Apple Notes on the iPad quietly solves that when you stop using it like a document and start using it like a system. Apple Notes beats most paid productivity apps for one simple reason, fewer decisions. It's already on your device, it syncs everywhere, and when a tool is friction-free, you actually use it. For me, the iPad sits in the middle, fast like a phone, focus like a computer. That's why Apple Notes became my second brain, not just another inbox. Here's the rule I follow, and this changed everything for me when it comes to Apple Notes. Folders are areas of my life, whether that's work, content, or business. Okay, when I, when it comes to Apple Notes, like I said, folders are my broad areas. And so what you will find is that on the left-hand side, yes, I have quick notes, notes that I'm sharing constantly with other persons, whether it's family, whether it's other collaborators. But in sitting inside of iCloud, I do have that all iCloud folder that holds everything. And sometimes that can be a bit overwhelming. And so there isn't any structure. And so I have my work folder, I have my content folder, and I do have my personal folder. Now inside of those folders, I do actually have subfolders to keep everything also organized. And if those subfolders need folders, they're going to get it as well. For example, my content hub have a ton of different folders. And so for example, if I go into podcasts. I can see what my podcast folder is. If I need to view my captions folder, um, I can see that. And again, I can actually create folders within folders. So if I go up here, I can say add a folder and I can call this my 2026 captions captions for pieces of content. So notice under that captions folder, there is another new folder appearing. And so I can categorize my captions like this. But tags is the secret sauce inside of Apple Notes. Tags do the real work. Ideas get tag, references get tag, and all the things in between has an assigned tag. Now, the biggest thing, the hidden secret of Apple Notes is the tag section. Now you can view all the tag section, all the tags. You can also search for specific pieces of item based on a specific tag. So I have content, ID, podcast, anything on the productivity hacks, scripts, and research. All right. If I don't want to see it, it may say select all or any selected. I can just take off and I can see, okay, what was research? And if I turn on research, this is some piece of research item. Now, how do you actually get the tags in? Um, usually when you create a note or you're doing any type of research, you can simply put hashtag research in that note and it's going to categorize for you. All right. Similarly, if you want to categorize your personal items or your work items in the note of itself, you can simply put hashtag personal or you could put hashtag work and notice on the left, it's going to be appearing there. Now, this is where most people mess up. They overbuild structure instead of trusting search and tags. The goal in Apple Notes is not perfection. It's actually fast retrieval of your saved ideas. Okay, now when it comes to capturing my ideas, I have two sets of workflows. I do have one for the iPhone where I can do either a voice memo and it sends it into Apple Notes. And I also have one for if I want to type. If you want to see a video of how I'm able to capture my ideas quickly using those two features specifically, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so on the iPad, I'm going to make this smaller 
I'm going to open up Safari. Now, let's say, for example, I was doing some type of research for content ideas or anything relating to business or even personal, and I want to capture those ideas using my iPad. There are a few ways that you can do it. So, for example, let's say I wanted to know what this particular article is talking about. I want to read it later on. So what I will simply do, I will swipe up from the bottom right of my screen. If you notice, as I'm swiping up, it actually brings up the quick notes. Now, I already have a quick note in here, but I'm going to hit on the plus and then I'm going to choose add link. So it's going to actually add in that link and then I can either do my scribbles, right? I can also do my scribbles with my Apple Pencil. And also I can actually voice dictate um, if I want to actually speak out what I'm thinking about this particular article, how I've wasted $500 on productivity apps before I learn some fundamental truths. And I'm like literally voicing it out. So this is the voice dictation of this. And then once that is done, I'm going to hit on the microphone to actually take this off. If there's additional information in here, this little bar that appears when you tap or click, it's going to appear. And you also have Apple um, intelligence. So if I go back into Apple notes, make this bigger and I go into quick notes, it's going to show me all the different things that I've captured. This is the messy way of capturing, but if I need to organize it into the research and all of those things, so what I would simply do, I will come in here, clean up this note, add to width, and then I can type in research and I could have even done it in the quick notes little box. And I can also say that this is content. So I'm actually tagging it. Apple Notes is where thinking actually lives. When an idea becomes actionable, it moves out of Apple Notes and it actually goes to reminders. And then you can actually dedicate time inside of your calendar. This separation alone removes so much overwhelm and every app knows exactly what it needs to be done. You don't need one app to do everything. You need apps that know their roles and how they fit into your everyday workflow. Here are the three mistakes that break most systems. You're using notes as a to-do list. You're either creating too many folders and you are never reviewing your notes and organizing them. If you never review, your brain stops trusting the system. And once that trust is gone, consistency actually disappears. If this setup makes sense, but you don't want to piece it together yourself, I made a creator's productivity cheat sheet. It maps out how I use notes, reminders, calendar, free form, and journal. So each app has one clear responsibility and job. You set it up once and stop thinking about it. Get your copy using the link in the description below. And as always, your tech should be working for you and not against you. I'll see you in the next video.